Hey there, how you doing? I'm out here taking a walk at my home studio. It's right behind me there. I'm gonna share a video with you that's from my online teaching site. It's about ExoCAD and how I've integrated that into my workflow. It's really been phenomenal. Now with DS Core, it's easy to transfer a prime scan file into ExoCAD and it works seamlessly. I've recently done several webinars live from my site about ExoCAD and the comment that I get from a lot of new users is that it's daunting. Well, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. In this video, I demonstrate the tools I use in ExoCAD for digital wax up and also the workflow is very similar to what I would use in CEREC. The tools are very similar, but they're a little better. But let's get into that video. And this is from my teaching site. I have other videos on there about how I integrate ExoCAD into my workflow in a CEREC office. So now with DS Core, it's open. We can do a lot of things we couldn't do a few years ago. Let's get into that video. Hey there, my name is James Clem. This video is gonna be about my journey into ExoCAD. And the main reason I went into ExoCAD was for the digital wax up. So I've had a good journey. It's been interesting because ExoCAD is like a new language. The principles are the same though. The mouth is the same. You just have to find a way to make that work for you. So being a Cirrhic user for over 20 years, that's the mindset I have and the workflow I have. Now I've been able to transfer that workflow into ExoCAD. The main thing I hear about ExoCAD from those that have been Cirrhic users and move into ExoCAD would be, wow, it's really daunting. Wow, the culture and the mindset is so challenging. Well, it can be, but it doesn't have to be. So this video is about the tools that I use for a digital wax up, even though there's other features and a lot of features you can use in ExoCAD. I still use CEREC, I use InLab. I can transfer an STL wax up into InLab and have that there for biocopy. And I still use CEREC chair side and use a biocopy study model if I need to really be proficient with my time when I'm doing same day dentistry. One of the greatest features that ExoCAD has when you're doing multiple teeth, particularly smile design or comprehensive care, would be the ability to take the wax up and import your preps and then that wax up can be moved right onto your preps. So there's minimal finishing. And that is a really nice feature. And I see that happening more in my life since I'm usually not doing those cases in the same day. And you can still move that back into your CEREC if you have the CAM software from ExoCAD. Or here I have the PM7 from Ivoclare, which is a five axis Miller and I can move into that. The other thing I see valuable here for ExoCAD is when I'm doing larger cases, I print my provisionals and I usually design that in ExoCAD and it's a very efficient turnaround time for ExoCAD once you learn it and for the printing. So that's very, very proficient. So I'm in that position now where I've opened up my digital platforms mainly because I have DS Core. So I have both the Prime Scan and the Trios, but that all goes into DS Core, so I can move that into whatever software I want. So thank you, Dent Supply Sharona, for adding DS Core to open up this system so I can be a more complete digital dentist, and I really enjoy what I do. So this video is gonna introduce how I use certain tools that are comparable to the tools in CEREC, in fact, a little better, for doing the digital wax up as I move through that workflow. So the wizard in ExoCAD is very similar to the steps that you would use in InLab. In other words, we have a tooth placement step. Then we have another window of design, which is the refinement of where that restoration is locked onto the model. So in ExoCAD, they call that tooth placement. That's where we're going to design about 90% of our work. And then we're gonna to move to the next wizard screen, which is called free forming. Now for me, I call that detailing. And then that's where I'm gonna use the add tool, the smooth tool and the removal tool, similar to the form tool of what I would see in CEREC because it has strength options and also paintbrush size options. And that's what I use when I'm doing a wax up in the free forming window 
or my detailing. And there's a lot of other tools there. And I see this even with Sarek when I do training, I'm extremely simple. I use mainly the form tool, which is a waxing tool, which is very similar to what we have in ExoCAD. And then I also use the two directional tool. And we have a very similar feature to that in ExoCAD. I use that 80% of the time with my tools when I'm in Sarek. So in ExoCAD, I have found that same type of workflow, which has really made it easier. In ExoCAD, since it offers such a wide range of features, it's really easy to get lost in the software. So you don't know, okay, what do I do next? Well, what tool am I gonna use? Which tool is the best? How much do you do within this tool feature before you move on to the next tool feature? So I'm very systematic in the way I work within digital softwares starting with Sarek for years, and now I'm into ExoCAD. So I'm gonna explain that a bit more in this video. So in the tooth placement wizard screen, that's where I do most of my setup of my teeth for my digital wax up. And you're gonna find several tools there that are really important. Now in Sarek, we have that position tool and the scale tool. Believe it or not, that's pretty much my major tool I use when I'm in my tooth placement screen in ExoCAD. Now there's one additional tool that's just magical that is similar to the circular four direction tool, but it's so much better. It's the morphine stretch tool. But in order to access that, you use control shift, but you have to be in the icon with the little eyeball on it, right? So you have to be there. And with that, you can stretch and morph that tool so it really fits the arch well during a wax up. These are the incredible features within ExoCAD that are very similar to Sarek, except they work a little bit better. And then one more tool in tooth placement that I like is that wax morphing tool. And that's for the final detailing while I'm in tooth placement before I move on to free forming. And with those four features, I mainly control them with my keys. So to activate these tools in the ExoCAD software becomes second nature like playing a piano. So the left mouse allows you to translate, right? We need to know how to translate and move that tooth into position. The control key moves it right into rotation. So you can rotate the tooth, you can tip the tooth and move it right into place. That's really efficient. So the third tool after I've already translated and rotating is the morphine stretch tool. In order to use that, I have to be in the advanced tool with the eyeball. And all I do is hit control shift on my keypad and place the cursor where I want to slightly morph and stretch that tooth into position. Those three features, I can do most of what I need to do to set up the teeth, to fit the arch, to get the emergence I want. And then the last tool I use in tooth placement would be the waxing tool. And that's right next door to the eyeball tool. And with that waxing tool, it also is a morphing tool, but more petite. And you can use that to move your wax around very similar to what we would see with this circular four directional tool, but it's, but a, it's whole a whole lot, lot better. better. So 90% of what I need to do to get a digital wax up is done in tooth placement with just those four basic features. So when I go over to free forming, I don't have a lot left to do. And I mainly detailed in this screen and that's where I use my add, subtraction and smooth tool. And that's what we call the form tool in Sarek. And we have the same features. We have strength, we have paintbrush size. The one thing I do though differently in ExoCAD is I use a strength feature of around 35 to 50%, but I click when I'm adding and when I'm smoothing, so I just click. So with smoothing, there's another feature that I do use in designing restorations, and that would be with the shift tool, you can flatten smooth, which is fairly aggressive. But at this stage in time, I just need a really subtle detailing smooth, which is clicking at around 35%, where I wanna just slightly smooth line angles and emergence, and then we can add with the click as well. So the final tool in the freeform detailing is the adapt tool and you have various features there you can adapt the proximal you can adapt the occlusion and then you can adapt so it fits onto your model so you can make these 
shell type of smile makeovers, which works really well. Or you can print the model with a new wax up, use Palisil to place on that, cure it on, and it will give you that nice glazed look and then use a Siltec type of jig. I like the Colting because it's really smooth. You form that over the model. And then I love Luxatemp B1. Luxatemp B1 still is one of my best mock-ups. In fact, if you look at this case, it's hard to know whether that's the final case or whether that's the mock-up. At this point in time, if I'm not going really bright or if it's not significantly additive, I still like to use the Siltec over the shell. When you do the wax up right and you form it really well into the sulcus that you don't get a lot of flash. And if you add the Luxatemp just right, you don't get a lot of flash. And usually you can just rub the flash away with a finger and you're ready to show them a mock-up and it's really powerful to do. I'm sure you're gonna have other questions, post them below, I will address them. But thanks for watching and you folks have a good time. Learning ExoCAD, I'll see you in the next video. Bye now.